Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sumo Steve, and today we're going to be playing Leith. Now, this is a new horror title that was released on Steam. Um, I picked it up because it kind of looked somewhat interesting. Um, and I don't know, I feel like I'm in a horror mood, you know? I feel like I'm uh, ready to get scared. Now, I say this, but you may notice that this is a brightly lit room. Because I'm not in the mood to get that scared, okay? But, <laughs> but at any rate, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get scared. So, let's just dive right on into it. Wow. So, right off the bat, game's looking pretty good. Looking pretty darn good. Uh, can I move? No, I can't. My name is Robert Don, and I was born in London. I used to write this sentence countless times in my childhood years. And I remember father desperately trying to teach me calligraphy. He was persistent as a teacher, yet always a caring father. When I grew up and became a journalist, allowing me to escape his parental grasp to live a life of my own. A whole new world had opened itself up before me, and I took the leap without a moment's hesitation. Times were tough back then, yet I was enjoying every single moment of my new uh, every single moment my new life had to offer. Wow, this is some reading. It was then that I felt... <clears throat> it was then that I felt it for the first time. It is said that you only get one chance to live your life to the fullest and break free. But when my father passed away unexpectedly, he left behind insurmountable debts, thrusting me into the abyss. My zeal was tempered and my mind clouded. While cleaning up his personal belongings, old memories of him came back to me as if I, as if waking from a deep slumber, and as I touched the yellowed practice sheets, I wondered how long it had been since our last writing session together. Underneath the sheets, I found an envelope, and inside it was a letter faded with time, which I carefully unfolded. What was written inside shook me completely. What I had considered to be my life, my whole existence, was shattered beyond recognition. Wow, this is already getting pretty, uh interesting here. I had to remove my headphones because this, I have my volume way too loud. I didn't realize how loud it was going to be so I can't hear myself talking. It's messing me up. That day I lost everything as if it had, as if it had all been a part of a theatrical shadow play. According to this letter I wasn't even born in London but somewhere far from here. The unfamiliar postal stamp, the unfamiliar postal stamp revealed that much at least. Frantically I searched the attic but no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't find anything else about my past. This letter must have been the only thing my father had kept. Perhaps he had secretly wished for me to find this after his passing, as if seeking redemption. Was I really looking for the origin of my story, or was I just change, uh, chasing a dream? A cheap excuse to abandon my old life in search of a challenge. Something, uh, something or somewhere to test my mettle. Just a few of the many questions that occupy my mind as this little boat rocked drifting slowly towards my final destination. Alright, so reading time's over. Oh, reading time is definitely over. Alright, we're whiting out and loading. So immediately we are uh we're just kind of thrown in here thrown into the thick of the story this guy is searching for i don't understand why he's so hung up about not being huh. born in london though oh gosh okay it's like oh okay apparently i wasn't born in london all right although i guess he is a journalist so he is naturally a bit more curious a bit more hung up on what the truth actually is so maybe that's why he's chasing the story. <laughs> but what got me is that he kind of said his world was shaken, you know? Rather than... Um, what? First off, is this actually in-game, like in-engine? Because if so, this looks really good. I didn't expect this game to look that good. But this is unreal, isn't it? Oh gosh, that's in his hand. 
That's enough to make someone cringe. Jeez, man. Pull that shit out. That's bigger than I thought it was. Okay, WASD, nothing here. What is this thing? Is it like a totem or a bomb? Is this our sprint button? Yeah, it's like slow or slightly less slow. Not that much speed. So I guess it's time to explore our surroundings, huh? Your bottle. Uh, boy. I guess the obvious place to go is the house, huh? Because in a situation like this, you would look for help. Help would typically reside in a house. But, uh, as we all, as we all know, you don't go to the houses in horror. What is this? This is blood. This is a bear trap? Press E to clo uh, when close to objects. Well, I can't interact with the... We're just gonna ignore that, huh? Oh! I didn't sign up for this. I did not sign up for this. Okay, um, let's try to look in stuff and... Oh, hey. This, this is glowy. What, 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 what the? F okay, okay, I was just on the, I was on the chair. <laughs> okay, okay, I wasn't completely conveyed. Okay, that's some kind of ration thing. Mining company made all, uh, made an offer on the house yesterday. I hear they need better access to the port, and I wish I could just take it and leave, but... We don't have anywhere else to go. My parents are long past dead, and even if they weren't, the villagers up the hills are getting sick too. The bodies are piling up in the streets. This is the safest place we can be right now. Jeez, all right. So everyone's getting sick. Um, Am I just eating these, or is this being stashed in an inventory? Am I doing that? Am I doing this? This is not okay for me. Okay. Um. Let's just search everything. No, no clickables. Okay. Um. Hey, maybe there's something in the fire here. Hey, yeah, buddy. Maybe we have to go. Okay, we're going in. All right, what? Okay, no, I thought I saw something move. Okay, there's nothing outside. Um, uh, which door? Hey, let's light this up. That'll make me feel a little bit better. Hey, yeah, I'm not so scared. I feel like this is a natural place to go. Uh-uh. Okay. Okay. No, this is fine. It's just uh, two beds. Cool. Oh, hey, a note. Let's read it. Some weird stuff has been happening lately, and I have been hearing strange noises at night. Me too. I locked the gate to the yard just in case. That was a smart idea on your part, friend. Oh, hey. Let's light that up. Yeah. It's uh, adding ambiance. Huh? Okay. That's under a sheet. I don't trust you. I must face reality. My husband is gone, and we don't have enough money left to last another year. Now that winter is right around the corner, and with the roof leaking, I will have to start the repairs this week. It won't get fixed by itself. When our eldest son turns 12 next month, he'll be strong enough to help with picking olives this year. After, uh, after that, I'll have to figure something out. I just have to. 
Everything will be all right. We'll make it. I am too nervous right now. I'm serious. I'll just get the olives. Okay. Um. Exploring done. Yay. Exploring done. Yay. All right. Is this outside? Okay. That's a bear trap still. We're gonna sidestep you. Um. Can we interact with it? Okay. No. Let's not get too close. We just we'll just see that it's a bear trap and not step on it. Um, hey, that's a ladder. Walk up to a ladder. Oh, don't even have to press buttons. It just does it for you. Hey, I, I guess I just have to look out for bear traps. That collision is weird. I just make stuff fly all over the place, huh? All right, so what the heck is the point of this up here? Jeez, stuff just flies. I guess that was me in the house, huh? I was thinking that was something else. But this stuff just flies all over the place. Let's make sure we don't run into those bear traps. Ah, it makes me so darn antsy. It's glowing, but it doesn't do anything. It's glowy, but it doesn't do anything. I don't know how to feel about that. Let's keep looking down because bear traps are a thing. And I'm sure... Ooh. Can we climb this? Ooh. Is that a possibility? No. Okay. I mean, I felt like it was a smart idea, though. Right? No. There's no Half-Life action going on. No uh, stacking stuff up. Alright, that's fine. Let's just go back up here. Avoid the bear trap. Um, that's a ration. Can I not, like... Okay, I can. Cool. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking I could do that. Oh, alright. And now I can get closer to this. Okay, cool. Let's do some levers, man. Alright, something's moving. We're doing something. Aw, uh, hey, look at that right there. Cool, cool. Space bar to jump. Okay, and I can jump over this now. Right? Oh, or never mind. Maybe I was assuming a little too much. Oh, okay, I have to jump up here. Cool, cool. Um, are we making this? Yes, we are. Cool, cool. All right, I'm feeling better about myself. Like stuff isn't so scary. I'm outside. I have a uh, space to run. Yeah, I mean it's it's not so bad, guys. It's actually not so bad. Um, okay, we're exploring. Uh, the, the glowing mushrooms don't do anything, though. That's so weird to me. Uh, this is a lever. Let's just pull it. Okay, it doesn't do anything. That's cool. Um, keep, keep hands away from machinery. All right, so that probably, I mean, I doubt that it does nothing, right? I probably have to do something to make it work because video games, right? Just keep an eye out for bear traps. I feel like the bear traps are kind of... Hmm. The hook. The bear traps are kind of a way to uh, make sure you don't... Yeah, that's awesome right there. Okay, the hooks... Do they typically have lanterns on them? It's, they're kind of used as a way to make you... Uh, move a bit more slower and not just rush through things because you kind of get punished to rush through things why should i sprint right now do i need to sprint is there something coming after where why are we sprinting why do we need to sprint don't tell me that don't oh no don't tell me to sprint i don't like that Man, I don't get used to that sound. Look, Jesus. All right, cool. We know how to sprint now. But that's like, ooh, yeah, that doesn't look friendly. <sighs> Learning to sprint in horror games is sort of like the survival horror games where they give you like your first little revolver or something, right? 
Like, everything's up for grabs now. Now you can... You can really die. And that looks super duper friendly. Just kind of inch our way. There we go, buddy. All right, we got it. And just as I thought, I just got to do something before our lever uh, does something. Let's just close that behind us. I don't want any uh, sneaky sneaks, right? Um, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and read this note. Be gentle with the steam pressure. The carts break often. Um, the carts brakes often get stuck. Use the pressure control to set the speed instead. There's only a few more days left anyway. The administration ordered the sealing of uh, tunnels next week. We're going home. Awesome. Uh, so be careful. Yeah, let's get some light in here. Why not? Is that just infinite? I hope so. Uh, do we have to put anything in there? I don't feel like there's anything in there anyway. Oh. Alright, don't do too much. Hey. Hey. We good? Okay, I just did that one. Did that one. We're going outside. Alright, we're good. We're good, right? We are good, but we also know what shift does. Okay. Some electric fence, probably. Um, it's sparking to show us that uh, there's electricity here and that the switch now works. How bad is the evil of them? What is that? Alright, what exactly happened there? I imagine it's the uh, little thing that we saw all the way back here. Something happened here, right? No? Nothing happened here. So it is. There is some kind of door here. Correct? I don't do well with tunnels, guys. I don't do well with tunnels when I know how to sprint. To be more specific. Oh, boy. This is going to be pleasant. I can tell. Yeah, red does mean danger, doesn't it? Let's... Yeah, I mean, I guess so, right? Oh, okay, it's locked. Uh, thank goodness. Um, what are you down here? No, oh, you're not locked, huh? What are we doing? Use radio transmissions to save. Oh, okay. We can save our game. Uh, was that... Did that count as a safe? Are we safe now? I think so. I think that was a safe. Okay, great. So, so we saved our game. Good. Um, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Um, this is really this is a really interesting horror game. I'm not gonna lie, I got a little scared. You might have been able to tell that, but it looks interesting, and I I kind of want to continue with it. Um, part of me does, a lot of me doesn't, but, um, yeah, that's gonna be it for today, I'll see you guys later, uh, I'm gonna pretend like I didn't hear that sound, um, and I'll have more content up this week, but until then, bye guys. <laughs>